Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Bears Wines and Spirits review. Today I'm going to be reviewing Main Brace IPA from Asda Extra Special. Although, looking at the bottle, you know straight away if you're a beer fan that this isn't actually a Shepherd and Neem bottle, brewed exclusively for Asda. On the front, it's described as complex and refreshing with a light citrus tang and lingering oppy aftertaste. 4.5% volume and look at that that you know plain and simple tells you what it is on the front gives you the alcohol content very visible very readable a lot of companies breweries need to follow you know make make your bottles legible because this even in this light of this beer room is very legible uh, very readable but some of them you're in and you're like reading it and I'm, I can't read a thing you know no need for it Let's give it a pour. Now I'd already said I'd already done this once, and then realised that my uh, hard drive on my camcorder was flashing, and it's on less than thirty seconds. So I had to redo it again. Good thing I didn't crack it open. So I got this for a pound the other week. As I had a bit of an offer on, and a pound, you know, you can't fault it, can you? All the London, all the gentleman Jack is it, and the porter that they do, they both of them are gone, and you managed to nab two. But I can understand that a pound each. I even looked on the shelves on the top to see if there's any up there that I could uh, climb up and get down, but no, nah, no chance. So, lovely amber colour, just a slight off-white head, lacing around the outside. Can't see the carbonation in the centre, but the lacing around the outside is really strong. So, what does it say? <sighs> nice multi aroma. I wouldn't say it was a hoppy aroma. Nice multi taste, really. Um, on ratebeer.com, it's got a rating of 2.84 out of 5 from 52 ratings. Not a lot of ratings, really, for, for something that's been out years. Um, first review, 3 out three of 5. Amber beer with persistent foamy head. Um, light on aroma, but clean. Light multi taste with long, fizzy citrus finish. Lightly bitter, easy drinking for a summer evening. I do agree with the aroma. I couldn't get a lot of aroma off it. And another one, 3.3. .3. Poured a clear copper colour with a frothy white head and a few bubbles. The aroma is light caramel malt, light hop. The flavour is moderate bitter with a light fruit woody, light resin hop bitter palate. Medium bodied, lively carbonation. Last one, 3.4. Amber brown with an off-white head. I actually like this. A little multi nose and taste with a decent hop balance. My sweet tooth picking up the light multi sweetness straight away. Not bad at all for a cheap supermarket beer. People need to lighten up when rating such brews. Yeah, there is... Like the wine industry, spirits, gin, and certainly beers and lagers, there are people who will slag beers off just because they're from a certain brewery or just because they're cheap as chips like the Audi bears they're cheap as chips but so be it you know and uh, sometimes you can is there such a thing as a bear snob I do think probably there probably is in this day and age you know but we all do what we do for me yeah it's quite nice definitely a sweetness then uh, very much a best bitter. If I'm going to describe it, I'll describe it as a best bitter type beer. Hey, we have light. Um, I ain't turned the lights on in here, so the camera's already decided to light me up. Yeah. And catch the forest logo there. Yes. Three wins on the balance. Not the greatest of seasons. Finished ninth in the table. Um, obviously, the change of manager mid-season, you know, more towards the end of the season, did not help us. But if one manager wants to go and he's been put, he's been, for whatever reason, he's wanted to go most of the season, then what can you do, you know? And then the other manager moves in, he's got to weigh up the players 
and who's playing well, who wants to play, because yes, they're on 10 grand a week, some of these people aren't, and more, but, you know, is there heart in it? Like Sanchez at Man United, a great player, no doubt, quality, one of the best players in the world, when he wants to play. Blokes on 300 grand a game, flipping 300 grand a game, you know, just winds me up. And uh, he's played poor. And, uh, you know, you give me 300,000, I'd run around like an absolute muppet all through the game. You'd be stretching me off in the end because I'd just have no energy. And you see some of these and it's like they're, they're not interested, you know. Strange, isn't it, you know. Give them the ordinary person that the ability to get that money, you know. But hey, hey that's life, I suppose. <clears throat> Let's get back to the beer. Definitely the hop bitterness in the background. Some of that resin that one reviewer was on about. So if I'm right in thinking, this was usually on sale for about 150. I picked it up for a quid, and there was only a few bottles left, you know. And it's one of those things. If you knew it was a quid, I'd have gone in earlier than I had. I'd have got the other, I'd have got the old set because a quid, you know, it's you know, here's my money. You know, I'll have the beer. But um, sadly, couldn't uh, couldn't do it. Don't see so much Shepherd and Neem these days. They did have a deal with Lidl at one stage before Lidl stopped bringing out all their own craft beers and, and they launched the Haverwood range. Uh, they would have uh, regular uh, new beers from Shepherd and Neem, and uh, that's stopped now. I mean, I, I would do. I do think that some of their beers are brewed by Shepherd and Neem and Marston's, but um, yeah, we've seen less of their beers, which is a shame because. You know, there's definitely a place for all beers, really. So, definitely best bitter, best bitter type beer. And on, on a day when it's uh, not like today, when it's absolutely freezing in this in this beer room, but on a day when um, you know you sat sat at a pub, this is quite a decent beer for that IPA. I don't know if it if it if it notches up against a lot of other IPAs that I've had. I mean, what does it say? Complex and refreshing. Definitely refreshing. Complex. There is some bits and bobs there to that. Light citrus tank. Lingering hoppy aftertaste. Yeah, yeah. There's a there's a there's definitely enough good aftertaste. Mm, yeah, that hoppy resinous aftertaste definitely kicks in. I mean, a pound, you can't fault it, can you? If any all beers were, you know, that cheap, we'd all be drunk all the time and, you know, it'd be sack terrible. So, Shepherd and Neem, I mean, you asked the extra special range. To be fair to them, they haven't changed it in the last few years. It's been around a few years now. Maybe Sainsbury's have updated their um, taste difference range. And maybe that um, Asda need to add a few more. You know, probably for some craft beers. But, you know, even made by Shepherd and Neem. Because I think all four of theirs, that I remember at least, are made by Shepherd and Neem. And they're actually quite decent. Whitechapel Porter was the one I was thinking of. And... Uh, yeah, they're all quite decent uh, beers, really. And the price, you know, what can you, you know, you get what you pay for, I suppose. But it's still a decent beer, even at that price. You know, forget the price. You know, because, I mean, you go to some shops and the, the beers, are, some of these, beer, you know, beer shops, and they're like seven quid for a bottle. And for me, no beer's worth seven quid for a bottle. And I don't care how long they spend on it, you know. Um, because they can brew it in such vast amounts that seven quid... No, no. Any beer that's that price. I mean, I've paid four or five quid for a bottle, but it was a big bottle. But I ain't paying that sort of price. You know, it'd be interesting to hear what other people think about that. <clears throat> I got a right bush of flavour then. About choked on it, but... <clears throat> wow. 
So you choke on your beer, then you get it brings about a massive amount of flavour. <clears throat> So, amber colour, white head, good lacing, couldn't see the carbonation to be fair, even though this, this is a glass that does throw it up, so, but very strong lacing. Light malty aroma, um, in the taste, malty in the taste, um, hoppy in the background, and a good refreshing beer, you know, very nice for what it is. Um, out of five. Good standard beer, uh, 4.0 out of 5. Yeah, I, I liked it. It was a nice beer. Would I have it again? Yeah, yeah, I like that. Not too much. Um, yes, I've described it as the best bitter type beer, but not too much that it's bland. But, um, you know, a nice, s s stable beer. Without being anything that's obviously in my top 10, you know, it's, it's away from that, but... And I'll spare all the less. All the same, rather. Thanks for watching. See you soon.